It's a pleasure to welcome you. Today we will go through the procedure of installing, registering and configuring the license server, as well as how to connect other computers to the server. Network licensing requires a TCP IP connection. You just need to install license server on one of computers in the local network. Then you may install Nanocad on every computer which will use it. Then connect Nanocad with license server through the registration wizard by the name of server PC or its IP address. At first, let's install license server which you can download from link in the video description. Here we select the license server for downloading. Let's run the execution file. In the dialog box that appears, there are two options, enter the serial number to get the license file and manage the license server. We need to select the first enter the serial number to get a license file option and attach the license to this computer where is the license server will be installed. We will return to the second option later. We choose the first option and then we go to the next step of installation where you need to specify the serial number. You can find it by clicking on the link below, which will redirect you to a site where you will need to log in to your personal user account and find out your license key. Once we know our key, we enter it in the field and move on to the next step. Here you need to specify your email, confirm the action, after which a window will appear warning us that the license will be attached to this device. Next, to get a license file for your computer, you have three options. The first request license file online option is the most commonly used. This option activates the license automatically using an internet connection. If the first method fails, use the second request license file by email option. It allows you to automatically generate a request letter and send it to our license server. And then you will receive a reply letter with a license file. If you have an email application installed on your computer, it will be opened automatically. If there is no internet connection on your computer, use the third save license request to file option. It allows you to generate a request file, which you need to send to our technical support by email from the internet connected computer. The last two options allow you to get a license file that you will need to activate manually when you will install the license server. If you have an internet connection, let's choose the easiest activation option, request license file online. After a small amount of time, if all steps have been done correctly, your license will be successfully activated and the installation of the license server will begin, which we will talk about later. If you selected the last two options and received the license file by email, then you need to run execution file again and choose manage license server option. After which, you need to select the install or upgrade license server option and specify the license file destination path. This action will also proceed to the installation of the license server. Let's specify license server files destination, but I highly recommend installing the files in the default path. Click next then if needed, specify settings for ports. Usually, it is better to leave all settings by default, but if your organization uses advanced network security settings, you can specify the server ports manually and then open them on your local network. Click Next and then on the Finish button. When the license server is configured, you need to connect all required computers to the server. To do this, install the NanoCAD program and run the Registration Wizard application if it did not start automatically. The registration wizard application can be found in the folder where the program is installed or by using the search field in the operating system. After launching the registration wizard, you should select the connect to the license server option. Here you need to specify the name of the server. If you have left all the default settings, you need to recognize the name of the license server, which is the same as the computer name. This can be done by using the host name command in the command prompt application. Or by right clicking on the this PC icon and selecting properties option. 
Use this device name to activate the program on all computers where NanoCAD is installed. If you want to update the software, the easiest way is to follow the same steps as before. But if you need to update or upgrade an already installed license server, and you receive the license file by email, run the license server execution file. After that, select the Manage License Server option, and then the Install or Upgrade License Server option. The Add License File to License Server option is used to add a license file to an existing server. You can uninstall the license server by using the Uninstall License Server option. It is important to note that you can only use the number of licenses you specified when purchasing. So you should close program clients to free up licenses on the server. It is also important to understand that the computer on which the license server is installed must be connected to a local network so that you can use NanoCAD on other computers. If you have any questions, please contact our technical support by email. Support at nanoCAD.com